Sony this week unveiled its latest PlayStation 5 and new games from franchises uh, such as Gran Turismo and Spider-Man. For the $150 billion video game industry, it's really time to move beyond the familiar and address the changing demographics of its global audience. Women make up at least half of the mobile games market and two-fifths of the AR VR device owners, but there's still very little data on what they want to play and why they want to play it. So in today's Business of Equality, our ongoing conversation about the bottom line impact of diversity, I spoke with Mitu Kandekar to explain what she's doing to change all of that. Mitu teaches game design at NYU and she's the CEO of Glow Up Games. If you look at games culture as a whole, there's this perception that, you know, when you see the big marketing campaigns from the big big companies and you see the big flashy billboards, often those are targeting, you know, this stereotypical perception, as you say, of like, you know, a white uh, male between the 18 to 30. There are game companies, you know, specifically on the mobile side who are increasingly realizing that there is um, a, a, a female audience and making story-driven games for that audience. However, the thing that, so the reason that I started my company, Glow Up Games, together with my two co-founders who are also women of color, is because we realized that more specifically, games are not having the same realization that movie and TV industries are, where they're realizing, hey, telling diverse stories about people of color is big business, right? Mm -hmm. So you look at the success of like Black Panther, Crazy Rich Asians, mm -hmm. uh, things like that, and you know, games need that same moment. So you have a very specific mission, uh, mm. Glow Up Games does. How does that fit in with the existing video game industry? I mean, when you talk to uh, CEOs and executives from companies like Activision Blizzard, right. How do they respond to what you're trying to do? You know, I think that we're very much trying to push against, in, in many ways, we're trying to push against a lot of things in the game space. Not only the idea of representation of characters within games mm -hmm. and, you know, wanting more female representation, wanting more representation of women of color. What we're also trying to change the needle on is the um, representation of developers within yes. the industry itself. I believe only 20% of all game developers are women. Um, and, you know, even smaller than that is women of color. So for Glow Up Games, you know, we're three women who have been in the space for a long time. So we knew that it was time for us to just really take charge and try and sort of lead the charge, as it were, on mm -hmm. trying to change the landscape for diverse storytelling in games. So when you go to industry conferences, do you see other women there? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been going to, um, you know, industry conferences for a long time, you know, 13. Uh, there's a big conference called Game Developers Conference, which happens in San Francisco every year. Uh, I've been going there for the last 13 years. Um, I'm also on the advisory uh, panel for advisory um, board for, for it as well. Um, and yeah, like, you know, I think over the years, we definitely have seen more women um, uh, women attending. There's a sort of uh, joke that a lot of us women in the industry make where it's like, oh, we know now that there are more women in the, women in the industry because there's a line for the bathroom <laughs> at conferences. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. There are more women and, you know, diverse people um, attending, attending games and being in games. And, you know, and I think part of it as well is not only recognizing that um, there are more women in games, but also, it's about shining a light on the women who have already been there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's also been a problem. You know, there's, you know, there is a pipeline problem definitely mm -hmm. into games, mm -hmm. but there's also a leaky bucket, right? Explain so, what you mean by that. So, the games industry actually has a real problem retaining women. Um, so, if like you so much of the tech industry and other exactly, parts. yeah, it's very much in line with the tech industry, etc. So, you know, there needs to be um, just a big cultural shift in the ways that we accommodate mm -hmm. for the, you know, for for people of all kinds of backgrounds in games, and that's one of the things that we're trying to do, trying to make games a less toxic yeah. uh, and. Uh, you know, a place where we can feel joyful and affirmed being who we are.